Text can be created as either point or paragraph type. Point text is good for a word or single line of text. Paragraph type should be used when working with larger bodies of text. Creating both types of text is simple. Select the type tool and then click to start adding point text or click and drag to make a text box for a paragraph of text. Point type can be converted to paragraph type and vice versa by right plus clicking the type layer and choosing to convert from point type to paragraph type and vice versa. This will be especially important if you decide to change what your text says. If the words type begin to fall off the side of the image, you should consider switching to paragraph type, which allows text to wrap inside a text, text box. When it's time to start modifying type, it's important to remember a few important selecting and moving musts. First, use the type tool to, to select or highlight text before making edits. You must first select the type tool and then click on your text. Once you see an active blinking cursor, you can highlight the text and make edits. So here, if I go over into Photoshop, I can um, do this by modifying this word fun. Say, for instance, I wanted to change the word, I can highlight um, and see the blinking cursor. I can maybe change this into fern. But, oh my gosh, it doesn't say fern. Oh no, what are we going to do, Whitney? <laughs> well, I guess we need to go back and learn some more about type. So, the second thing here is you, uh, you want to use the move tool to move text from one position to another. If you have the type tool selected and try to move the type from one side of the image to another, it will be very frustrating. Nothing will happen. So... I'll show you this. So I've got the type tool selected, and if I try to move, nothing will happen. Okay, but last here, I can use the type tool to change the size of a paragraph type text box. If you run out of room for your text within the original paragraph type textbook you created, you can always make it bigger or smaller, but in order to do so, you'll need to make sure that the type tool is selected. So again, here I've got the type tool selected still, but if I want to use the move tool, I can move the type up here. And move it out of the way. Yes. So now, if I go back to the type tool. And select the text. And select the text. You can see that we, we know we have the word fern, right? But we just can't see it. It's hiding. It's, it's bigger than the box. So now if I make the text box bigger, you can see the whole word. Yeah, and now fern is hanging off the side of the artboard. And so you'll have to, again, bounce back to that move tool and be able to center it back on your page. And so personally for me, this is one of the frustrating things that you have to get used to um, in InDesign a lot is you have to use a tool for what it's worth and then you always have to bounce back to the selection or the direct selection tool. And it's the same idea in Photoshop. If you want to move something, you have to switch back to the move tool. But when you want to edit the text and you want to edit the gradient or you want to edit the, the setting for the tool, you have to jump back to the tool itself. So it's always good to remember if things are getting frustrating, if they're not working the way that they should, you just always want to make sure that you have the right tool selected and that you're, you're doing what that tool should be doing.